Hello and welcome. Uh, today we'll speak about uh, a unsupervised classification. That is a tool that allow us to uh, classify, uh, let's say, to split in uh, classes the uh, a satellite images or a grayscale or a color composite. It is a speed, quite speed method compared to the supervised classification that we'll see later, and it's uh, greatly advised to use it uh, when you are let's say some we have some uh, limiting budget or accessibility to the study area so you cannot perform uh, field survey and uh, ground control let's see how it works uh, we have different possibility as I told you let's say we can uh, perform over a single band a grayscale image or a color composite have we seen before let's say the in this case I've uh, already created a RGB 543 Landsat 8 so let's have a look how it works First of all, I enter the toolbox. We have already seen where it is. It is tool, geoprocessing toolbox, or directly from this icon. And here, let's say if I don't know where it is, the classification, I just can type here CLA classification, and you see that it's already performed a filter all over the the 500 and something uh, possibility uh, let's say algorithm. So I go here, unsupervised classification. I double click and I see here I can choose which elements I will perform the classification let's say I have different possibilities or I perform over a single band or I perform over a color composite RGB so I can choose one of these possibilities let's say or I go over a single band or I go on the RGB composite the, then I can define the output region as we've seen before so let's say if it's fit to input layer or using the extent from the view or the layer I've already performed reduce the time consuming and this is have different result this is the unsupervised over band 4 let's have a look how it works how it appears I make a zoom and you see that the uh, images is divided into different color that belongs to the same class because let's say that the process is to group to merge a pixel having a same response to uh, the reflectance because when I use this uh, the unsupervised I have to define how many classes I want to have as output so let's consider that uh, the higher is the number of classes the more accurate will be the classification but uh, it will take more time and then I will show you you have more work uh, to do to define the classes because they say that, that the uh, algorithm do not, does not say you that it is vegetation it is urban but just say that these have the same uh, answer to reflectance so then it's up to you to the user to give the class uh, the name of the class uh, to the group of cells so then say this is how it looks like so if I go for the information you will see that the answer the value will be let's say 4 or 5 let's say the uh, classes that I assign to the pixel so you have some groups of pixel I can perform as well as I told you before and unsupervised on the color composite so here let's say this is the result of the unsupervised classification of the RGB so you see they have grouped uh, pixel having the same value of reflectivities or reflectance or let's say some similar so even in this case if I go with the information you will see I have band 1 let's say class 1, class 3, class 1 and so on so then uh, let's say if I want to give a name to this uh, class because uh, 1, 2, 3 does not mean anything I can use this tool uh, color table I click on this and uh, let's say that I have uh, uh, a color table here it is it uh, tells you okay there are five classes because I have defined just five when I uh, define the number of classes I want so then I want now to make some, give some color and some name to these classes. 
so let's say five is a very small number just for training purposes because you cannot uh, classify all a peninsula with only five classes of land cover or land use classes but let's say just for example I want to make five so I just activate the color table then I create a new library because I want to have my own classification I say okay length cover classification this is my uh, personal classification I say that minimum five minimum zero maximum maximum four because I know that there are this is the interval that is present in my classification how many interval I want I want just five intervals because including zero and four okay and here it is then I say okay value one will be Okay, sorry again, it was one less, so I can remove, you say, all selected points, or all, I want just the select points. So let's say, value will be from 0 to, to 1, and I can give a color. Then, let's say I want this from 1, and I can give a different color. The other one will be until 2. And here say for sure we say that from three and it'll be four, then I can change color. Okay. You see you can give the different color according to your your goal. Then you have to rename, let's say this can be water, this can be bear soil for example this can be vegetation and this will be let's say rock I just give an example and this be urban okay here it is then I can apply okay I'm satisfied then accept you see here you have your unsupervised classification of the area and let's say that you have the differences inside and the classes are listed here so remember that this is a fast way of classification for sure five classes are not enough and you can save money and uh, time because if you have to go there it would be more time consuming but remember that the accuracy is not so high for sure the more classes you insert the more accurate will be your classification, but at the same time, for sure, it will be more time consuming. Thanks so much.